New rules could make it harder for dockless bikes and scooter companies to operate in Austin. You may have seen them last month out on the streets of Austin. Many college students picked them right up. Yeah, and as Kenny Rodriguez found out, some companies say that the city's new rules will be almost impossible to follow. They came. I loved them. They were super fun. They, they were super convenient. And in the blink of an eye, they were gone. I was really sad. And these dockless devices could be making a comeback as early as next week. But there are some rules that must be followed before they're allowed back on the streets. This isn't just about scooters, right? This is about the future of transportation. One rule would require dockless bikes and scooters to have the ability to be locked to bike racks or be equipped with special technology that ensures they're in the correct area. The city also wants companies to provide customer service centers in Austin, collect customer demographic data, and provide services for those without a smartphone. Uh, throughout the rules, uh, I think there's a lot of stuff that we agree with. There's some things from a technology perspective uh, that we'd absolutely change. And some companies like Bird say some of the rules will be difficult to implement. But they, along with Austin-based dockless scooter company Goat, owner Michael Schramm say they're looking forward to working with the city. I think at the end of the day, this is really going to be a lot of involvement with the city. I fully expect these rules to change, but this is a collaborative effort. So nothing on day one is perfect. In Austin, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. On Friday, the Austin Transportation Department is set to meet with companies that want to do business in town. Then starting next week, applications will be made available. They can take anywhere from two to three days to be processed. And once approved, the companies are allowed to start operating. Dockless scooters are so new, many cities have not figured out how to regulate them. In fact, Austin was the first Texas city to have dockless scooters launch. But San Antonio might not be far behind. A local startup there is expected to launch soon. Birds was the first company to bring in scooters to Austin. And according to Smart Cities Dive, Austin and San Francisco have confiscated the scooters. In Santa Monica, California, the city filed criminal charges against Birds. But those charges were dismissed after the company agreed to pay $300,000 in fines. We found that in Dallas, scooters have been banned from the public right-of-way for 12 years. That's because the Dallas City Council worried they would cause accidents.